All right, it's time for another cool tool show and tell. Today I'm joined by Jordan Bunker. Jordan is a freelance engineer, artist, designer, prop maker. He's based out of Oakland, California. He is a former Make Magazine technical editor and a BattleBots robot builder. Jordan Bunker, thank you for joining me today. Let's talk about some tools. What have you got to share with me? Uh, so this is a tool that I use almost on a daily basis. Uh, it, when you're doing any sort of repair or, or modification work, or if you just have a big collection of, we all have a big collection of like bolts and machine screws and nuts and stuff that, you know, when you're taking something apart, you want to save the parts. You throw them in there, but you have no idea what what the thread is. So uh, this, the, the original thread checker, <laughs> uh, is a bunch of, you, you may have seen something similar to this at like, a big box store, Home Depot, Lowe's, they have the wall of, of little bolts and you can take your nut to the store and kind of thread it on and see what it is so you can buy more of it. Um, this is a little bit expensive. I think it's around 35, 36 bucks. But the amount of time that I've saved using this to figure out what thread a bolt is, uh, it pays for itself several times over in very short order. Uh, so it's got standard and metric threads on here uh, and it's got female and male side so uh you take your I'll, i just grabbed some random bolts out of my bin this is and you kind of just match it up to whatever size you think it is that's a pretty exotic random bolt to pull out of your bin. Yeah, like is, what is that this is for going into wood yeah. uh and then you can thread something onto it so you fasten something to the wood but uh yeah so this is 5 16 18 so Perfect example. Yeah, I, I, I'm lucky enough to have a hardware store pretty close by. And the amount of times I've walked over there with some nut or bolt just to use their thread checker that they have in their like their aisle of bins is pretty ridiculous. And every time, I'm a little bit worried that they're going to think that I'm stealing the bolt that I brought with me to check the thread <laughs> on. But I usually wind up pay paying my way through it so that if they think I stole a bolt, they'll, they'll just you know, write it off. But that would save me a little bit of embarrassment. Uh, and I, I do uh, think that there is there is something magical about those thread checkers and being able to identify what you got or be able to match up what you have. For me recently, I used one because like the, I wanted to attach a handle in the back of my van. And I knew that they were, they already had like the little inset threads for mounting a handle, but I had no idea what, what the bolt was that needed to go in there. Right. You and, can't take your van into the hardware store. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Well, I was going to pull up and they like park my van. The, the people at the hardware store are nice enough to me. They know me by now. They're like, okay, Donald's here to check something. They probably would have let me bring bolts out to the van sure. uh, every, every so often. But I was able to f figure out, you know, by going online to the forum to figure out what it was. But if I had had that ring of different you know, thread thread bolts to try out, it would have saved me a lot of time. Yeah, it's a huge time saver. And, you know, it, it, just being able to reuse all of the hardware that you take apart and quick, quickly and easily sort it, super, super efficient time saver. All right, Jordan, thank you so much for joining me for this. And where can people find out more about you and your work? Uh, I'm available as TensorFlux on pretty much every social media platform. Uh, my website is also Hierotechnics. That's like hieroglyphics and pyrotechnics.com. Uh, I post a lot of projects that I make there. Um, yeah. All right. Tune in again soon for another cool tool show and tell. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you soon.